to all everyone. So, I'm gonna be talking to you guys today about my internship because now it's been a, almost a month. It's gonna be a month this Thursday. And I just wanted to say how grateful I am for my internship. Like, I've been learning a lot as a journalist. I always have to be very brief. And I do summaries for this internship and they have to be like shorter than 200 words. And an actual article is like 500 words or something. Ooh, sorry. Um, and I don't know, I've been having a hard time. But at the same time, like this week, last week, I was able to do like 150 words or less, which is great. You go, Gio. Um, but yeah, so I've been learning a lot. Like, I also learned that I don't really like being in an office because I do like talking to people and like interviewing them and going to places to like gather information and everything. I want a journalism job, like a real one. So yeah, but it, it was great finding that out, you know, because you never really know what you like and you don't like until you actually have an experience. So yeah. The other thing is, it's so different how people here in Asia, they're like with like their work and everything, what they expect. So I felt like they were expecting a lot from me. And for some reason I would feel like an idiot sometimes, like, oh my God, I can do this, right? So yeah, I have problems like saving documents, which I mean, Giovanna, come on. Auto save, honey. Um, <laughs> the other thing would be that I wouldn't profile her correctly. Today was the first day that she was, my ex supervisor was like, oh my god, you profiled it correctly. And I was just like, oh hell yeah. <laughs> but after a month. <laughs> well, it's okay. Everyone at their own pace, right? <laughs> But, yeah, it's been great. It's just that my office, like, I don't know. People are either talking to the person next to them, who sits next to them, or they're just, like, alone. And they go to lunch alone. They do everything alone. It's super quiet in the office. And yeah, not a lot of people approach me sometimes, which is kind of weird. I feel kind of left out sometimes, but it's okay. Um, in my office, there's a few. Okay, don't don't get in my case for this because it wouldn't be off if I said this. But I just don't know where to from. There. Are, about four people who I don't know if they're Indian or Middle Eastern. It can be that some of them are Indian, some of them are Middle Eastern. And I don't know, they just speak the same language. That's why I'm like, it's either one or the other. But I just don't know. There's this one guy from Malaysia and as I told you guys before, I think, he took me to lunch on my first day. He's super nice, but now we just say hi and bye. Like, good morning, bye-bye. Because, yeah, not a, not a lot of people really talk in the office, which is kind of weird. But it's okay, we're out there to work, and there's a lot of work to do, so I do understand. Um, what else? It's super cold in the office, and I have to bring my blazer all the time, 
but it looks so formal and people don't really dress that formal and it's just a bummer sometimes i'm just like oh i'm dressed up like all formal nobody is not even the guys wear blazers most of the time the ceo does but like not a lot of the other guys and i'm just always freezing so i always do it um sorry my eyes are my arms are hurting because yeah i'm old whatever um what else on fridays we have casual fridays so we can go all casual i didn't do it yet but i'm gonna do it this week see what they say you know but yeah a lot of women here in hong kong they don't really wear high heels to work some of them do but it's mostly ballerina shoes um always a skirt and a top like tugged in a skirt or a dress and like just once in a while they wear pants and that's where i differ from all of them because i'm always wearing pants or like a skirt i do wear a lot of dresses too but i have like three dresses i guess it's so fine though i don't care i do repeats <laughs> um what else have before in another video you shouldn't be very direct especially with your supervisor or your hr like your bosses because they get kind of triggered they also get kind of triggered if you don't do what is asked of you even if you're just confused and you're asking they might get triggered mine does get triggered sometimes but i understand she's just doing her job but i am a person who's kind of slow to like understand things but yeah we we make it work it's all good so yeah um it's just very interesting to live in another country like i'm not living here but i'm here for two months it's time enough and you can see the differences of like work etiquette and everything in the office i haven't worked anywhere else but i've seen my parents work and it's completely different over there it's super casual here is more formal but at the same time people are very laid back and work hours are very flexible as long as you work eight hours you can i don't know show up to the office at eight if you want and leave at five even though your workload should be from nine to six so it's all good you make your own hours i always get there at the office earlier so i always leave earlier too so yeah i was here by six today <laughs> well not here here but at the mtr so <laughs> yeah good for me oh also i don't think i told you guys but i extended my internship by a week and yeah i don't i don't know why but i just did it it was free so why not it's gonna be five weeks instead of four when it should have been eight but it's so good bye bye